Shortly after its start in 1837, the Congregation of the Holy Cross sought to establish a school in the New World. Offering help, the Bishop of Vincennes sent Father Soren and seven of his brothers to the banks of St. Mary's Lake in South Bend. So we were founded in France, but in many ways we're uh, very much an American uh, congregation within the Catholic Church because this is where we really were able to take off. We kind of arrived in the United States at just the right time in the right place as well. So that pioneer spirit that was helping grow the, the country was also, in, had infected Father Soren. Father Soren was a very entrepreneurial spirit and had a lot of great ideas of founding a great university. He was able to get a lot of financial support from people like Napoleon III and counts and, and marquees in France and so on and so forth. They were the original donors of the University of Notre Dame. The university was founded in 1842. By 1870, the brothers began construction on a new chapel. 18 years later, the church was officially consecrated in celebration of the 50th anniversary of Father Soren's ordination. It speaks to the strong tie between the success and the beauty of this place and, and Father Soren himself. It's sort of like an extension of who he is and his personality. You kind of see it stamped here. He wasn't the architect and he wasn't the principal builder, but he is the thought and the mind and the energy behind its own construction and establishment. Today, the church remains the tallest university chapel in the country, featuring a bell tower that measures 218 feet, 44 stained glass windows, and stunning artworks commissioned from around the world. He was able to engage the artistic genius of Luigi Gregori, who was the artist in residence for the Vatican under Pius IX, and we were able to get him here for over 20 years. That golden altar was imported from Paris. It was commissioned. It's not an old altar. In the way back, we have what is known as the Bernini altar. Now, that was a relic. That was already 200 years old by the time Father Soren imported it from Rome. But it's done by the Bernini School, who designed some of the major features of the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome. Soren wanted to make sure that very much in keeping with the Congregation of Holy Cross's philosophy, of wedding academia with spirituality. The, the two centers, the main building and the church, would be side by side, and that neither one would overshadow the other so much, that this needed to be the heart of the campus and the heart of the university. Though this year marks the Basilica's 126th anniversary, popularity continues, with over 100,000 visitors annually partaking in daily liturgies and after-game masses for Notre Dame fans. It was like the home base for, and a point of pride for many Catholics. I think that's part of why Notre Dame got to be so famous, because at a time in the country when Catholics were viewed with a bit of skepticism, suspicion, this was a place where Catholicism was welcomed, and they didn't have to feel ashamed about their faith. I think there was also a strong sense that they needed to make this place look and feel very much like the church the people left behind when they immigrated to this country. This was built around the time when massive immigration from Catholic countries in Europe was happening. So they wanted a place that just felt like home.